Hi, I'm Peter Wise. I live in Sydney. This is my Aston Martin Lagonda that uh, I've had since 1994. The car was built in 1981, or rather I should say it was finished in 1981. It was sold from the factory in the UK to a guy in Malaysia. As I understand it, it was delivered to Malaysia and then the chap that owned it brought it to Australia probably uh, during the mid 80s and then as I understand it it was sitting on blocks in a, in a carport overlooking the harbour where the salt air could get at it for the next 10 years or so. When I got the car as I said in, in the 90s it uh, had a fair bit of corrosion around the front end and the wheels were pretty square or that's the way it felt when I was driving it. The um, Bodywork was generally in pretty good condition, but there was some corrosion where the steel met the, meets the aluminium body. The car about, weighs about two tonnes. It's the 64th car off the production line at the Aston Martin factory in Newport Pagnell. It um, was originally a slightly lighter colour and it had blue upholstery. But I decided after I'd had the car well, probably about 10 years that it needed a pretty good going over. I'd been playing with it over a number of years myself but decided it really needed to be done professionally and uh, I didn't have the time nor the inclination and probably neither the skill to do it myself. So I engaged Concourse Restoration and uh, Tuggera to do the work for me and uh, it's taken somewhere between two and three years to do the, the whole car. Um, it's completely back to um, back to its original body, and uh, as I said, I've had the upholstery and the headlining and uh, all the carpets and everything done. Mechanically, the car's been pretty good since uh, since the day that I've I got it, and it's had a few little bits and pieces done to it, but it actually goes beautifully. Uh, it's got automatic locking on the doors, so if you leave the take the key out and leave it, the um, uh, the doors lock on you which is a bit of a trick if you leave the seats, the keys on the seat. The uh, dashboard is pretty futuristic for a 1981 car. It's all electronic and not free of gremlins at the time that the car was built. This car has had the dashboard completely refurbished. I took the uh, fittings out and sent it back to the UK and they completely redid the, the electronics and it's now going pretty well. Um, Everything on the car is electric, the seats um, all uh, go electrically, the windows, obviously electric locking, the air conditioning, and if you look at the um, controls on the doors, you'll see that there's all sorts of buttons for pushing seats up and down and changing the angle and the rake and doing all sorts of, of things like that. Uh, the rear windows um, are fixed, they don't open. And there is a moonroof on the car as well, which also doesn't open, which is a standard feature of the, of the car. As you'll see, it's a pretty big beast under the bonnet. Aston Martin V8 with uh, all the usual Aston Martin trim. Uh, the um, headlights are recessed and they work electronically. The, um, Pretty well standard Aston Martin under the bonnet here. The uh, odometer is in the um, is under the bonnet, and not on the, the dash. This car's done just over 17,000 miles, and that's the original 17,000 miles. I've only done about 3,000 miles in it since I've I've had it. In fact, I joked that I've only put petrol in it probably about 10 times since I've had it since 19, uh, 1994. So um, I think the the best thing about this, this car is that it brings the benefits of sports car ownership with saloon car uh, ownership at the same time. So you've got sports car performance but it's all wrapped up in a, what I think is a very beautiful body. The um, thing is when you're driving it you often have people pulling alongside and saying to you or asking you what sort of car it is and when you ask them to guess um, None of them usually can. The occasional idiot says it's a Chev or something like that, which is not exactly uh, very complimentary, I think. But um, anyway, I think uh, as one of maybe 10 of these cars in Australia, it's 
pretty rare. And I've told my kids when I'm no longer on this planet, they're not allowed to sell it because I don't want anyone to ever know how much money I've lost on it. <laughs>